Hello there, I'm at Adlon Denomaly from Switzerland and today we are back with Horizon Forbidden West and yeah, so um, a little bit later, I know, I know, huge time later actually, um, to be honest, yesterday I had a really bad day and I also slept pretty terribly and for reasons that I just don't want to explain, uh, you know, on Twitch. Um, I'm just pissed. I'm just really pissed. Um, so yeah. I just hope that, uh, you know, by playing Horizon Forbidden West, I guess my mood will lighten up again. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, last time, we now have uh, three uh, things. What are they called? Uh, 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 three subordinate... Uh, functions, uh, Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon. So, and now, for her fastest to work, her fastest, I don't, I, I still can't pronounce his name. Um, but in order to absorb him, we have to go to this facility where we have like two cores. So that like, um, Gaia is in the one core and we trap her fastest in the other one and then she takes over. But for that, we need the Omega clearance of Ted Farrow, which is actually higher than Alpha Prime of Elizabeth Sobek, which is crazy. I mean, you know, Elizabeth Sobek invented the whole thing, but still Ted Farrow had a higher clearance level. Like, come on, man. But anyway, so and we're needing that, the, um, the Omega clearance stuff, which means we need to go now to Ted Farrow. And I hope he's still alive that we can you know, in cryostasis or something. We can just take him out and kill him. You know, I would love that. Um, the other thing is, if he's already dead, or if, well, we don't know what happened to him, then at least I hope there will be some data points so that we can hear how he, or maybe even see how he got mad, got insane, you know, in his bunker, living out the rest of his days with um, his guilt. <laughs> I don't know. I know, I'm pretty edgy, but dude, with that pharaoh, you gotta be edgy. Anyways. Let's continue. <laughs> dude, why am I now singing in the Indiana Jones theme song? Dude, my head is already gone again. To find and recover Omega clearance from Thebes, Ted Farrow's private bunker must run across the bay to the ancient ruins of San Francisco. Thebes. But why? Um, oh, damn, that looks beautiful. That is San Francisco, by the way. Um, Thebes. But why naming the bunker after a city? After an ancient city in, in Egypt? Why? Was he there at one point? Or does it have. Or is it connected to. Uh, I guess it's connected to Egyptian mythology or to a god who was um, worshipped there. Maybe. Sadly, I'm not um, really um, that good in Egyptian mythology anymore. There was one point where I knew much about it. I still know a lot about it, but sadly not so much as I used to. And I'm still missing the music in the on the screen. Why? Oh wait, yeah, there's there's always a loading screen in the beginning, right? Dude, hello, dude, what 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 the fuck are you doing here now? So the boys. Um now I know we wanted to do something in the beginning. Um yeah, what am I talking? I wanted to do something last stream in the end, but we couldn't do it because I was really hungry, I had to get something to eat and prepare for the other stream. So But now we have the time. Talk to Ern. Let's just say here about you going west. Turns out we need one last thing before we can grab Hephaestus. Because it would have been too easy otherwise. I was hoping you could help me with something. It's about the Tanakh rebels, and it also has to do with the Osram. Really? That doesn't sound good. Let me know what I can do to help. I discovered an Osram militant group. 
They call themselves the Sons of Prometheus? It looks like they're the ones overriding machines for the Tanakh rebels. I thought that was something only you could do. They're familiar with ancient tech, and they're as anti-Karja as it gets. So, last year we stopped Durval and his cronies from blowing up Meridian in retribution for the Red Raids. And now you're telling me we have another group of Asaram trying to wipe out the Karja with... with an army of machines and bloodthirsty Tanakh? Pretty much. Oh, well, that's just great! Is there any way you can help me find out who they are? Anything to track them down and stop them? Yeah, I can send out some messages from Chainscrape. Get in touch with my contacts in the claim, see what I can find out. I'd appreciate that. Anything happen I should know about? Uh, Zoe asked us to help her bring more plants in here. Not for eating, apparently. Yeah, if you ask me, the place is fine as it is. You know, metal might be plain, but it's sturdy. Nothing wrong with that. Who needs a bunch of vegetation? How are things with Catalo? You still scared of him? Oh, she thinks she's funny. Actually, I played strike with him. I had to fill in most of the conversation myself, but I'm still alive. Glad to hear it. Bet you're used to that focus by now. Well, I can hit machines in their weak points. <laughs> I guess that's something. I wish all the other data was as easy to deal with. Now, to be honest, it's hard to understand half of what's on there. And the other half reminds me, well, this isn't a fight you can win by just waving a hammer. Which is kind of what I do. But hey, that just means I gotta study harder. You know, make myself useful. Just give it time. You've been looking at any interesting data? I asked Gaia to find me something to look at a while back. And she found the mother of all forges. They called it sports. Turns out the old ones spent a lot of time tackling and punching each other for points in, in one game or another. Are you mixing some solid food and fresh ale? I bet half the claim will be lining up to watch. What else have you been studying with your focus? Yeah, I've been looking into this uh, Vegas place you found. Gaia showed us everything that happened when you went to get that Poseidon thing. I mean, this Moreland guy seems pretty smart. Though, risking the Tanakh clan lands for a light show is a bold move. Maybe I should check up on them at some point. Just in case. Right. I need to get going. I think I know the answer, but are you sure you don't need any help? Gaia mentioned this uh, other tribe you found, the Quen. They sound like a nasty bunch. I can handle them. In the meantime, Varl will help you get ready for what comes next. Take care of yourself, Aloy. Aloy, you're here. Did you meet with the Quen already? Not yet. After all the trouble you went through getting those subfunctions, seems unfair you have to deal with these Quen on your own, too. It's safer this way. They think I'm Sobek or something like that. They won't hurt me, but I doubt they'll be so kind to anyone else. If you say so. Let me know if you need anything before you go. If I get Omega clearance and then we grab Hephaestus, we might finally have the advantage over the Zeniths. Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging thunder jaws. Better them than us, for once. You better not be slacking off on your studies while I'm gone. And risk Zoe coming after me? I value my life. In fact, I've been reading about Ted Farrow. How he destroyed the world and crawled into a hole after killing those who saved it. He definitely was a piece of work. If I get Omega clearance, and then we grab, we might- Can't wait to see the- Better I hope Zoe's not upset I'm distracting you from your training. Yeah, I don't think you have to worry about that. What do you mean? What happened? Well, before Zoe found a way to fix the land gods, I suggested that when Gaia was fully restored, she could just make new ones. 
Well, once we get a Festus, that's definitely a possibility. That's what I said. But I guess there was something about my tone she didn't like. She got pretty raw. Said I didn't understand the way her tribe feels about those machines. Which is true, of course. And the last thing I'd ever want to do is dismiss their traditions. But I was trying to look at things differently. Yeah, I guess I led you into trouble there, didn't I? Not your fault. Don't worry. Did you talk to Zoe after your fight? I suffered through a few hours of glaring silence. Then she seemed to move on. Sort of. How do people do this? How do I know if the next thing I say won't blow up in my face? What if an apology is not enough next time? You give her a stuffed animal? You're the worst. You know that? What makes you think I know anything about any of this? You're on your own. Abandoning me again, huh? Well, if she kills me next time, it's on you. While Beta and Gaia build the rig, can you get everyone ready for the mission ahead? Of course. What is it? Nothing. It's just that everything's about to change. We'll get Gaia, and she'll help us set things right. No more zeniths, no more derangement. It'll be a different world. I welcome it, but I wonder how the Nora will react. And the Karja, and well, everyone. Let's just focus on fixing Gaia for now. You're right. We've got an angry AI to take down. I'll be in touch if I need anything. We'll be ready. Everyone's been briefed on the pulse generators as well. Good. Aloy, I hear you're going further west, past the Tanakhth clanlands. Do you know anything about the area? Only hearsay. The Utaru tell stories of an island that lies beyond the western coast. They call it the Isle of Spires. It is said the Old Ones built towers there that touched the sky, so they could live far away from the earth that bore them. As if they didn't want to be reminded that they'd one day return to it. Sounds like something Ted Farrow would do. Any progress with your plan for the land gods? Is the reboot code ready? It is. But there is difficult work ahead. Gaia warned me that because the land gods are linked together in a network, the code must be delivered to all of them. Most are in plain song, but in recent years, three of them wandered off. So, T, and Do. We have to find them? No, we know where they are, but they're hard to reach. So, wandered into a lake and sank. Do ventured into a dangerous canyon, and T broke down amidst a herd of machines. Okay, tell you what. You go to Plainsong, handle all the land gods there. I'll take care of So, T, and Do. I'll need their locations, plus the reboot code. I'm sending the data to you now. My people made shrines near where each land god faltered. When you see them, you'll know you're close. And once again, thanks for your help. We're not gonna let your people starve, so I promise. You ever play that board game Aaron set up? Strike? I'm the one who gave it to him. I was hoping it'd distract him enough to spare us that ruckus he calls death metal. No such luck. You and Varl doing okay? Uh, uh, training, I mean. We're doing fine. Although I admit it would be nice to take a small break from studying, just the two of us. But then who'd look after Erend? There's always Katalo. Leave a loud Osaram with a brooding Tanakh. What could go wrong? What's everyone been up to? I've been trying to share some of my meals with Beta. Thought it might help her feel more at home. Maybe even get her to sleep up here instead of in that dark basement. She would not be moved. I appreciate you trying. Patience reaps the best harvest. I'm not giving up hope yet. How much have you read on Ted Farrow? Enough to wonder how a man who worked so hard to heal the world once could let greed and pride condemn it so easily. For one spirit to diminish in such a way, I, I'm not sure if I should hate him or pity him. 
It looked like you were working on something over there. With Gaia now growing in strength, I've been trying to find a way to heal the land gods, even if some people think I should give up on them. Already said I was sorry. Your friend thought it'd be a good idea to replace the land gods with new machines when Gaia recovers. It wasn't. The land gods have taken care of our people for generations. They are not some broken toy to be thrown away. Even if they are just machines doing their job, to abandon them in their time of suffering seems cruel. I'm sure Borrow understands that too. He does now. I had to get pretty mad at him at first, though. You know I can hear you guys, right? Varl looks pretty focused. He's been obsessing over the data revealed to us by Poseidon. Just the other day, we read about mountains hiding deep underwater that spew fire. If I understand correctly, Gaia said the flames they release come from the very center of the Earth. Like a heart, beating with the life of the world. As always, the cycle can be found in even the most unlikely of places. Of course... Varl's mostly interested in watching explosions happen underwater. I assume you've been looking into Demeter now that Gaia's merged with it? Yes. It's been humbling to know that the seeds I carry in this pouch came in turn from the seeds saved for Demeter in the Old World. It gives me hope that the cycle of life will prevail now, just as it did before. Varl, how should get going? Hopefully I can bring back what we need to capture Festus. After that, I'm gonna need everyone's help. We'll be ready. Ah, uh, Death Metal. Hi, by the way, this conversation is all over the place. Well, hello, Voskor. How are you, man? Didn't think you would join here in the, uh, the Horizon Forbidden West, though. <laughs> but yeah, Eren is like... He's basically you, an older version of you, I guess. <laughs> you would too, if you knew everything there is to know about Although he still has hair, so you know, I don't know. She can also crank out a whole army of machines. Oh man, listening to death metal all the time. But well, when I was talking to to Zoe here, I thought she she said like, just the two of us, just the two of us. <laughs> oh man, it just never gets out of my head. Hello, Katalo. Got a minute? As many as you need. I have to travel beyond the western coast. To the ruins, shrouded in fog. Yes, and I'm looking for a tribe, the Quen. I encountered them once before. They said they came from across the great ocean. I was hoping the Tanakh knew more about them. Hmm. There were rumors of trespassers in the area, but... We thought they were just bandits. Hikaru sent out a patrol or two, but... I don't recall them reporting back. We've had more pressing concerns, as you know. I'm sorry. That's all I can tell you. Oh, it's okay. I guess I'll find out soon enough. There is something I've been meaning to discuss with you. It's personal. If you have a moment to spare. You said there was something you wanted to talk about? I've been speaking with Gaia. She mentioned that the Zeniths bind metal with flesh to make themselves stronger. I was wondering if you'd help me do the same. You want to make yourself a new arm? Yes. Gaia insists she can help me build such a thing if I can get the necessary data and materials. She believes these things lie in the place where Beta hid from the Zeniths. Their ancient research lab. I am not as familiar with old world machinery as you are. I could use your assistance. It might be dangerous. The Zeniths probably still keep an eye on that place. We were lucky to get out of there alive the first time. I see. It sounds like this is worth the risk. By the ten, we shall see it through. What have you been up to? Varl has asked to learn the differences between my people's clans. So I've been teaching him to knock the history. It is heavy with blood and death, but also with honorable deeds and vanquished tyrants. Maybe you'd like to hear about it as well, when our mission is done. I'd be honored. 
What do Tanakhs do to relax? You know, to take a break from training? We play strike. Your Osirum friend, Erend, is surprisingly good at it. Although he has yet to beat me. It helps one think strategically. Hones the mind for tactics. Somehow that still sounds like training. Anything interesting happen while I was away? I found an acceptable place to practice with my blade. Oh, and where's that? Outside, above the base. There's a nest of sun wings that are always up for a fight. Ever thought of sparring with something that's not trying to kill you? That would defeat the purpose of the training. Found anything interesting during your training? Gaia told me where to find data on how wars were waged in the old world. I knew the Ten fought against machines, much as we do now, but it seems they were among the last of their kind. Later, machines battled other machines on behalf of greedy leaders, as they vied for lands and spoils. At least the Tanakh have the courage to put their lives on the line when conflicts arise. There is nobility in that. But maybe we just need fewer conflicts in the first place. Yes, of course. Hikaru would have it so as well. Anything else you've been looking at with that focus? Gaia showed me the... knowledge you recovered out in the desert. I am no chaplain, but... I'd be curious to test if something I read is true. What is it? The Old Ones believed one could hear the great waters, even in the middle of the desert, if you carried the carcass of a water animal with you. They called them seashells. That sounds... kind of gross. I should get going. I've got a long road ahead. Should you need reinforcements? I know who to call. I'll call you when I'm near the Zenith lab. We'll get what you need for that new arm of yours. Thank you, Aloy. Did you sleep all right? Uh, 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 rather not, to be honest. I really didn't sleep that well. And Kotala seems like a decent guy. Yeah, he is. <laughs> like, he's like war torn and whatever, but he's still decent. He's nice. He's a nice to knock guy for once. Usually they're all a bit ugh, rather unpleasant. Yeah, but we really need to get him a new arm. But I think when we encounter the Zeniths, it will be towards the end of the game, I guess. I mean, I don't know how the story is laid out, you know, but who knows. Um, I guess there is still one, one other person that we have to talk to. Where is Beta? Our clone. Is she in here? I never know exactly. No, she's not here. Uh, I don't know. It seems like we can't talk to you. Oh, we hey, actually can. You got a second? I suppose. So do you have everything you need to build the rig and pulse generators? Gaia sent me the schematics. The designs are... modest. Without the capabilities of Hephaestus, but... They should work. Not that it matters without a mega clearance. I'll find it. Just try to have the transport ready by the time I get back. So have you been upstairs at all? Not really. Varl sometimes comes down here to talk. He keeps asking if I'm okay. I thought he only wanted to know about my productivity, but... It's almost like he actually wants to talk to me. Yeah, I think he does. Have you talked with anyone else in the base? I speak with Gaia. She asks me how I'm feeling and my opinion on various topics. I didn't expect that from an AI. That's all thanks to Elizabeth. She believed Gaia had to care, not just follow her programming orders. I know. Independent emotional processing enabled the previous version of Gaia to create you, after all. Yeah. So. 
So, aside from Varl and Gaia, who else have you been talking to? Zoe told me how you met after your escape from the Hades Proving Lab. I had no idea you were severely injured. If the Zenus had killed you, life on Earth would be doomed. My escape would have been for nothing. But they didn't kill me. And thanks to Varl and Zoe, I was able to recover. You said you and Varl talk sometimes. What about? He told me about your tribe, the Nora, and the proving ritual you did. I told him if I was born into the tribe, I'd never be able to do the proving. It does require a lot of physical training, but there are plenty of other roles besides being a hunter. I don't think I'd be suited for any of them. Well, I guess it's a good thing you're not a Nora then. It's time for me to go. I'll check on you later. Yeah, sure. All right. Talk to the beta. Um, because you're here, I think I'm just going to do only the main story. I mean, I know there will be probably a bunch of side missions again, but uh, I think I won't just give a damn about them. By the way, uh, my sister brother won't come tonight, no? But it's it's Easter. I thought, hey, you you had time. Ah, so we'll be able to stream. Oh, okay, okay. Um, by the way, if you have uh, any questions about whatever in the game, I don't care. I can explain everything to you if you want to. I mean, I don't mind. Um, isn't there another tall neck? Oh no, wait, yeah, the tall neck was there. And we still can't override. Wait, where was the other tall neck? Hello? <laughs> what do you mean with uh, by uh, hey, uh, well, they have uh, both their corresponding uh, better half, but they would probably do something. Um, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, playing always next to and uh, watching so can't talk during matches. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, there's a shrine. Um. Okay, we'll be the closest place. I guess there, huh? Alright. Uh, then we need to go the other direction, though. Where is the other exit? I, n I can never... Ugh. There. No, not here. Although here is something. What does she say? Negative all the time. Oh, come on, Eloy. Clones of the same woman, and yet. She couldn't be more different from Elizabeth. Because she got raised by the fucking Zenith people who just want to eradicate life on Earth yet again? You know? So, to Pharaoh's tomb. Hey, I really Lord. hope we will... I really hope we can kill that Pharaoh. He killed the world three times. Falls edge. It's a lowland clan village southwest of the grove. In the heart of the jungle. Got it. Thanks for the advice. Alright, Falls Edge. Well, where is Falls Edge? Oh, it's there. Yeah, we actually have to go there. Um, Fast travel. Uh, to there. Confirm. Let's show the Falls Edge. Mm. And it has to load again. And there is no music. Right. <laughs> Couldn't they have just, you know, added music in the loading screen? You know, just uh, to make the transition to be more smoothly. 
Anyways. Guess I'll have to wait. Continue. Katala said I could resupply here and head for the Quinn Ferry. Mm. So let's resupply here. But about the skills, I have 15 skill points. So. That's pretty cool. What about here? Okay. Yes, I love that. Yeah, but I don't really use this weapon. Why not? It's a little bit redundant. Increase your concentration, yeah. Uh, right here. Okay. It's that one. That was that's actually pretty cool. Yes. What about here? Take less damage while mounted. Already machines do more damage. Huh. Don't you know what I should take him? That would be pretty cool. Oh! Do more damage with light and heavy attacks. Yes, why not? Good. So, fair warning though, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. So, but what should we do here? Like, what does it mean with resupply? I already have all of my supplies that I need. Just gotta head west until I reach the coast. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I guess now we have to ride a bit. So come on, machine. How far do we have to... I... God... That will take. Oh my god, yeah, right, whatever. We'll take ages to get there. Hey, Eloy. I paid a visit to your showman buddies down in. Yeah, where you picked up the site. It really spruced up the place. Uh, I guess they're calling it Hit the Empo now. In fact, All right. I think you could use your help with a few things, too. Thanks, sir. I'll try to pay them a visit when I can. Ah. Uh, um, okay. I just rammed a tree. Hello there. Don't mind me. No, no. Don't mind me. Good. Discovered this campfire. Um. Need to discover that one. You know, I just need to discover the campfire so that I can quick travel afterwards. Yeah. 
good. No, that one down there. So many campfires. I feel the ground tremble beneath that mountain of a machine. Oh, did that have you? Discover that. Scary mm. there. Damn, it looks so beautiful though. Jesus. I'm always amazed on how beautiful it looks. What the hell is this? What is that? No clue, never seen that before. Um Okay, let's go to that campfire. Here in the swamps. Let's go up there and then there and there. What is that? Meet Talana, huh? Well, we could do that. It'll be right on our way. Are there are these new machines? Ah, uh, that's just sun wings. Where is that? No. Oh. Sometimes the GPS is still weird. Good, discovered that. Now there is a campfire. Is this a rubber camp? Almost looks like a. Did the GPS stop confusing me? Good, discovered this one. Now we only need to go there. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Good. So, now we discovered our campfire on the way. Let's go back, let's go there. Then we can go to Talana. It's so weird that she's the new leader of the Hunter's Lodge, even though I killed the thing that made her the leader of the Hunter's Lodge, but whatever. <sighs> Guess I just wasn't worthy of it. <laughs> I can like so many enemies. No, no, don't mind me. Chill out. Jesus, this reminds me of the Everglades. You know the swamps in Florida? New survey drone. Yeah, fuck off. I still don't know how I can do that. I can get the drones. Tried it in Las Vegas. Didn't work. Uh, no, no, dude. Map. There's Talana. Um, no, that's Serena. Huh. Yes, yeah, that mission. I need to know. Okay. So why are you, Talana? Here you are. Why are you hiding? Thorn Marsh. Quite a sight, isn't it? Never thought I'd find myself this deep in Tanakh territory. Have you run into any trouble? I've been keeping my head down. Had to duck into the swamps a couple of times to avoid Tanakh patrols. Well, I'm here now. So spill it. Who is Amatis, really? 
Like I said before, he helped me put a stop to a hunter-killer machine out in the wilds. At first, he thought I was just another hunter from the lodge who only cared about the biggest machine trophy. And I thought he was just a grouchy hermit living in the woods. But then, he trusted me with the truth. Told me how the Red Raids took everything from him. Seeing that side of him, I don't know, changed things. You love him, don't you? I think I might, yeah. Then why did you part ways? When he told me how he failed to save the woman from his past, I told him how I made peace with my father and brother's deaths. He realized he needed to do the same on his own. Wait. When we searched that Red Raid's battlefield together, you said he'd lost someone close to him there. I thought you meant a fellow soldier. Well, she was. Women aren't allowed to serve in the Karja army, but Nessa disguised herself so she could. Amadis kept her secret. When he left to come out west, he promised he'd send word that he was alright, but his letter never came. So you set out to find him. And when we do, I'll have words for him for leading us on this wild goose chase. Well, at least I kind of understand now. Amadis thought Nessa died on the battlefield, but when he learned that the Tanakh took prisoners back west, he kept going. So I guess now we find this prison, the Rot. I did some scouting while I was waiting. I think I might have found the way. Lead on, then. Do you think Nessa might... Well, don't lead on, because I want to continue the main quest. Barrow's tomb. Still be alive? I doubt it. Any cards your prisoners from the Red Raid. Sorry. Sorry, Talana. <laughs> What's this place? Thorn Mars. Yeah, that looks ugly. She'll be back. Rest now. Keep an eye on her. Is she sick? <laughs> it's Aloy, isn't it? Walk with me. I am Ateka, commander of the Lowland clan. The girl, Zella, was poisoned by the blood choke. For months, it has polluted our waters, depriving us of food and clean drink. We've learned to live with it as best we can. But recently, without explanation, the filth cleared from much of the lowland. Yet one river still runs red, like a split vein from a rotted corpse. So the water here is still poisoned? Exactly. I sent my best squad to find its source, led by Zala's mother. They failed to report back. Akaro told me how you dropped part of the throne on Magala at the Cool Root. Saved his life. So lend me your strength. Together we can find my squad and the source of the poison. Sounds like you know Hikaru pretty well. He was my commander before he was my chief. I had served in his squad since we were bare-armed youths. Back then, he was a merciless warlord. Determined to destroy any enemy of the Lowland clan. I was with him the day he took the grove. Stood guard outside as he claimed the throne within. He entered a conqueror. But returned with the ambition of ending the constant bloodshed between the clans. Because he saw Faraday's message. Yes. That vision changed him, gave him new purpose. He became our first chief, ruler of all Tanakhs, and dedicated the tribe to fighting machines instead of each other. If you're so close with Hikaru, why aren't you a marshal? I wanted to serve as one, but... Akaro needed someone he could trust to lead his former clan. Maintaining control of the desert and sky clans is difficult enough for him. But the title wasn't handed to me. I fought for the honor, as our rights demand. Five days of scars and blood. By the last sunset, I stood alone. The new commander. 
Close to 20 years have passed since. This blood choke. Is that what you call the red algae? Yes. A couple years ago, it was only a thin streak of red in the river. It grew over time. Until it was a constant poison. It sickens those who drink the polluted water, kill the fish we used to catch. But a while ago, unexplainably, the rivers began to clear. All except for one. And because of it, my people continue to waste away, weakening the clan. I'll help you find your missing squad. Good. I'm heading out now. The longer the blood choke remains, the longer my people suffer. We'll follow the Red River. The squad would have done the same. Might be able to pick up some sign of them. You ready? Actually, I have some things to do first. I'll meet up with you. Very well. Look for the mouth of the Red River. Follow it, and you'll find me wherever it leads. Okay. I'll be there when I can. Uh, I feel pretty good about healing today, if you need me healing. Oh, that's, that's, uh, that's nice to know. Although, to be honest, uh, I would love if I could get my healing rank to gold too. But, um... Sure, I mean, it also depends on you, you know, how, uh, how well you are, how awake you are. <laughs> Alright, there is nothing more there, which is good. So then. Come here, Charger. Last thing I need is a machine stomping around in there. Yeah, I'm not, I don't want to go in there. I want to go around it. Dude, Mount cannot enter this location. What the fuck? Hello? I want to enter. <laughs> Sometimes, man. Jesus. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. We're on the right way. Right track. Uh, so we have to find Alba first. Then maybe afterwards we can go into. Uh, we can finally go to Thebes. To test for our spunker. Get the Omega clearance. To override Heph Hephaestus. But it's weird. So Hephaestus cleared himself of the. Of the Alpha Prime uh, clearance from um, from Elizabeth Tobak, but he didn't cleanse himself of the Omega clearance from Ted Farrow. That's weird. Bluffed another reason. Damn, so that is the ocean. <laughs> We're now at the Pacific Ocean, then. How about another campfire, it seems? Yeah, now we are really into unknown territory. Never been here before. Discovered nothing here. And down here. I just hope that she's here. That's strange. No, no. Nothing's stopping me from taking a boat. Huh. Uh, how does that work? Examine the boat. Oh, this one. Use the boat.
one's guarding this side of the ferry either. Where are the Quinn? Go to Legacy's Landfall. Some rough waters there, huh? It wasn't also really smart to drive the boat in the middle of the night while there was a storm, huh? So we crossed the bay now. So we're now like basically on the peninsula of San Francisco. Nice. And I don't have an animal anymore. Great. No machine. Yes, yes. Dude, come on, man. Well, at least that's a tall neck. I had actually did push me south. Because, well, why didn't I just go, like, straight there? But no, it pushed me south. Okay, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. Black box, Isle of Spires. Okay. Uh, what did you say about healing? Uh, well, yeah, it's, uh, it's nice um, that you feel good about healing today. But I also want to, you know, um, get my healing uh, rank to gold. Um... So I guess I would play both of it. How dare you to meet me? <laughs> Buddy, how are you? Now ah, I lost interest, huh? Come on, turn around. Fine, I know. Oh, Jesus. No, that was the second one. Uh-oh. Bye. I didn't know. No, no. Don't want to deal with you now. Jesus, chill. No, dude, where am I? Hello? Hello? Can I get out of here? Run. Run, girl, run. This fight is not meant for you. Really sucks that I can't ride anything. Should have cleared out some cauldrons, because maybe then I could actually ride them. These raptors. Okay. Um, so this is San Francisco now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, it's a storm, bud. Yeah. Somewhere buried out here is thieves. I hope Alva and the Quinn can help me find it. He really had his bunker in, in San Francisco? Is that Pharaoh? Well to be fair, he was a trillionaire, so yeah. Damn. Jesus Christ. I do want to see the Golden Gate Bridge though. We saw it a little bit. A tiny, tiny little bit. So like one pillar, but I would love to see the whole bridge. How it looks after a thousand years. Damn. Now imagine you could climb like every single skyscraper. Huh. Yeah. Oh, there are charges. Oh, wait. No. No, 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 no. You're not seeing me. You're not seeing me. I'm camouflaged. Because of red hair and red plants. No, no. Come on, Charter. Lose interest. Yeah, I'll lose interest. I want to override you. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, you're a nice boy. Got me. Let me override you. Nice. See? Easier stuff. Now we're way faster. There's another campfire. Discovered it. Override tool recharging. Wait, it is recharge? I didn't even know that. Yes, I am Elizabeth Sobeck. She looks peaceful enough. <laughs> this okay. is landfall, right? I'm looking for Alva. Overseer Bohai ordered us to invite you before him should you approach. Please, come with me. 
Go. Let him know we're coming. It's her! The Diviner was right. Overseer Bohai, a stranger, just walked through the gate. I knew Alva would not dare lie. You do look like Sobek. Is Alva here? I need to talk to her. I will consider your request once it is determined what you are. A living ancestor as Alva believes, or a threat. Lurking in such a guise. I am no threat, okay? Back on the mainland, your soldiers fired on me without warning. So you say, infidel. None of those you engaged survived to bear witness. I held off on your squad when... May I present our honored CO. So, here she is. Our great mystery. Well, Bohai, what have you divined? What is she? A mystery indeed, my CO. How can she appear as Sobek, and yet know nothing of our ways? Are we to believe that a living ancestor was born to this wretched land, an ocean apart from the realm of the Chosen? And if so, to what end? I cannot answer. Only she can. But I warn you, no falsehood will satisfy us. Now speak. Why are you here? What is your purpose? I'm looking for a place called Thebes. And what do you seek there? Alva told me a little bit about what you're after. I guess you could say I want what you want. A way to heal the world. As I suspected. Tell her. We found Thebes. The final resting place of Ted Pharaoh's secrets. It isn't far, but the way is closed to us. Machine attacks have cut us off from the site. Diviner Alva is there, along with a complement of diggers and soldiers. Is she all right? Our scouts tell us that the machine has our people pinned behind their defenses, but they're holding out. Machines, huh? I can help with that. Alva told us that you are indeed formidable. But I have a few questions first. We will answer what we can. So you found Thebes. How? The ancestors revealed it to us not long after we made landfall. Almost a year ago, through a scrap of ancient data discovered by Alva and verified by myself. It contained details about the construction of a great underground palace. Where, exactly? Close. Beneath the Great Pyramid in the ruins beyond. Figures. Ted loves his pyramids. Have you been inside? Uh, no. That has been a problem, one of many. And we will solve them all in time. Getting back to the site is the one at hand. I hope you're as effective against machines as Diviner Alva suggested. What exactly are you looking for inside Thebes? I thought Alva brought back the data you needed. We risked much 
to cross the ocean. Therefore, we must unearth every possible link to the legacy while we are here. Especially one as important as Thebes. We will not sail back until I have plundered its secrets. So, all the reports to you. I was chosen by my colleagues on the board of overseers to supervise data retrieval on this expedition, yes. And you're in charge of the expedition? He is far more than that. You are addressing the cousin of the Emperor of the Quinn. Heir to the vast holdings of the Great Delta, the first CO in five generations. All she needs to understand is that I am the authority here. And my will is to attain the secrets of Thebes. Mine too. We're in luck. You crossed the ocean on these ships? Couldn't have been easy. Greatness is never easy. Indeed. It took seven years just to build the flotilla. This expedition is the most important undertaking of our generation. A quest for knowledge across the gaping sea with nothing less than the fate of our tribe at stake. And none of it would have been possible without the will of the CEO. The voyage was difficult. The wilds here even more so. Our sailors and soldiers have suffered much. I know that. But all for the glory of the Quen. Good to know. What kind of machine has your people pinned down near Thebes? A Thunderjaw. We've dealt with them before, but this one is... Tougher, stronger, and it has black armor? Yes. How did you know? <sighs> Doesn't matter. Won't be easy, but I can take it down. Then destiny shines upon us, as I knew it would. A living ancestor now walks among us, and she will help me attain the secrets of Thebes. Resupply here if you must. Then on to Thebes at the base of the pyramid in the ruins. We will follow when our scouts confirm you've cleared the way. All right. So they actually took knowledge of the old ones, like of our time, and like build a ship on their own. Damn. Let's look a bit round though. <laughs> Oh, damn. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Yeah, can I please? I want to talk to you, but you don't want to. Jesus. So he really has his uh, private bunker under the under the, uh, the permit building in San Francisco. Really? Come on. The audacity of that guy. There's something more. No. Thank you. Okay. Can I now talk to you? Ancestor. T. There you go. I didn't believe, but now I see. You truly are an ancestor reborn. A good omen if I ever saw one. I'm a scout for the expedition. Whatever I learn of this strange land, I will share with you. As is my duty to the ancestors, I should tell you where we are. My fellow scouts found ancient ruins west of here. They claim to have seen a relic of the ancestors inside, but couldn't find a way to retrieve it. Perhaps a living ancestor could discover a way where others could not. Maybe if I find myself in the area. Maybe. New relic ruin, well. I guess. 
How about no? Once that ancestor prime attacks like that corruption powerful. Oh god. Okay. To be a diviner is to be both deeply blessed and solemnly responsible. So that was so that what Alva is. Alva is a diviner. As scholars on the infinite wisdom of the ancestors, the commoners look to us for guidance. We must not forsake our duty to counsel them. However trivial the concerns and predicaments may seem to be. Let this primer serve as a touchstone whenever they are in need of inspiration. If one is beset by fatigue or hunger, tell them to look to the spark. Nikita Irons, the ancestor who gave rise to our great empire. Through her wisdom, we overcame stagnation to live in abundance. Nikita Irons, okay. If one is beset by malady or hardship, tell them to look to the healer, Song Jiao, the ancestor who defied nations of illness and death. Yeah, it makes sense that these are Asian people because, you know, the Quen are originally from Asia. Probably from China or Japan or whatever. Um, through her wisdom, we strive to push past our physical restraints and live in vigor. If one is beset by anxiety or trepidation, tell them to look to the protector, Eric Visser. The ancestor embodied strength in uncertain times. Through his wisdom, we dominated our enemies to build a better future. Eric Visser? That's the, that, that's the far zenith guy. Dude, fuck him. He almost killed me. If one is beset by envy or bitterness, tell them to look to the patron, Peter Chifumbe, the ancestor who advocated for transcendence in humanity. Through his wisdom, we stifled dissension to form a society greater than the sum of its parts. If one is beset by apathy or hopelessness, tell them to look to the renewer. Well, no. Who knows who that renewer is, huh? Okay. Here's something more. Good. Damn. Looks so beautiful though, the ocean. Alright. Why do we have to go? Yeah, yeah. Shall I... Uh, there's something else. What is this? Scroll, a tattered scroll containing Quen glyphs in official script. Exp expedition protocol. Eh. Soldiers of the expedition, an important reminder of rules and regulations that must be followed at all times. By now it should be evident that hoarding provisions will be met with harsh measure, furthermore all foraged food must be brought before so all experts for identification, categorization and rationing. All relics found in or near the sunken city are to be brought before Diviner Nerik, Diviner Alva or myself immediately and without question or hesitation. Failure to do so will irrevocably lead to capital punishment by both of culprit and next of kin back home. Damn. Is this North Korea all over again? Under no circumstances are you to approach our revered CEO. <laughs> it's so funny. It's just called CEO. Unless given a direct order to do so, should this honor be bestowed upon you, uh, improper conduct such as direct eye contact will be punished severely. Seriously? But a Quen for future overseer Bohai. Yeah, Bohai is really not a pleasant guy. He really isn't. Okay, there's mustache. Okay. Off to the big pyramid to fight the thunderjaw. Yep. AKA Redmore, I guess. Redmore 2.0. Okay. Nice to know. Sorry. Pacing ammo is now available. Oh, cool. I love that. Hmm. What about him? Nothing. Scroll as if an armor's recording careful Quen script. Casualty ledger. Oh, damn. Lost at sea 61. Accidents 9. K K I A 41. Barbarians 31. Machines 20. Sickness 1. Nutrition 11. Executed 7. Censored 4. Total 133. Jesus. That's grim. Well then, let's finally go to Thebes. Takes longer than I expected just to get there. My god. Huh, my animal waits there. I'm ashamed. <laughs> Better get down. This isn't a place for a machine. That's why I'm going the opposite way, eh? Right? Drone? Yeah. Must be part of Cyclops. 
I can get its data, I can reconnect it with the dome back at the base. I know I could, but I don't know how to obtain them, okay? Damn. But look at how it's so interesting you can like ride like really in the skyscraper. Jesus. It looks so beautiful. Oh, that's why I couldn't. Oh, wait, 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 you can, you can go down there, Charger. Can you, can you do that? Uh, I guess you can't. Okay. Stop blocking my way. Okay. Oh, this is the Great Pyramid, yeah. A barbarian! Run, stranger! There's a killer machine about! The machine will kill you! Who? Where? There you are. In awe again? I yeah, of course! That's an Apex Thunder Joe, aka Radmore. Hell to the no, 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 hell to the no. Boom! You know? I've got weapons too! Ow. Sad when game gonna be finished. Well, yeah, obviously. Jesus, ow! Chill out! Chill. And I missed it. Are you serious? No! Die! Yeah, now I can't craft these things anymore. Well, thank you, Apex Thunderjaw. Red Mole, stupid fuck. Oh! No! These explosive things are like my ultimate weapon. Now I can't craft them anymore. <laughs> Stranger! Over here! Aloy! Over here! Volva. I'm glad you're okay. Oh, you got rid of that machine. But what are you doing here? There's something inside Thieves that I need. I went to Landfall. I met your CEO. We came to an agreement, kind of. And you're going to help us get in? I guess so. The whole thing was a little tense. There was something off about that guy. And I don't understand what he wants from Thebes. I thought we found the data that your people needed back on the mainland. That data will take us years to sift through. The CEO wants faster results. Aloy, you have to be careful. He's... There they are. The legacy tells us that Elizabeth Sobek helped the ancestors cast aside all obstacles. And so it has been today. You have been true to your word. I'm pleased. Thebes awaits us below, shall we? Quite an excavation. Much of this was flooded. We had to pump a great deal of water out. Behold, the door to Thebes. A door like no other. Well, you're right about that. It's designed to open for only one man. Ted Farrow. But the legacy tells us that he worked closely with Sobek. He trusted her. Surely she could open the door, and so surely can you. Not gonna happen. At least not from this side. You said she was a living ancestor with Sobek's eternal essence. Uh, 
If I may, Pharaoh, great as he was, did not build his palace alone. We know this from scraps of data we found, the ones that pointed to this location. And we found evidence of passages below. Maybe they were built to aid construction. Or for servants. We can't reach them. The way is flooded, and they're too far underwater, but... I... Yeah. I can reach them. There might be another way in down there. You see? With Sobek, there is always a way. Then do what you must to get us inside. Jesus Christ, the CEO is a fucking ass. On the other hand, you know what we can do now? So we can go into the uh, the bunker through another uh, entrance. And then we can just take everything inside, take everything what is of that value, and then we can let them inside. You know, so that they destiny. have nothing. Indeed, my CEO. Stupid idiot. No, I don't want to glide. Jesus. Okay, let's go in here. Hmm. That's weird. There are no thermal activities in San Francisco. Oh, there is. Is that lava? Um. Why is there lava? Why the hell is there lava? We're in San Francisco. We're not in Iceland. There is something going. There's a rupture up there. Mm hmm. There's no way in. Jesus. Oh, oh. Should not get in there. Yeah. Let's go get me inside. Good. Um, hello? Hello? Can I please? Ah. Oh, this is also on the water. Jesus. We're lucky that some of it broke down. Uh oh. Um. Yeah. Uh. Oh, that. Ah. Oh, ah. Oh, okay. Guess we need to go through there. I have to time this. Otherwise, I'll be shredded to pieces. Swim, 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 Aloy. Swim. You don't want to be shredded. Hey. There's gotta be a way to stop that turbine around here somewhere. Yeah, oh, here. Disable it. Come on. Good. Wait, is that is that a is that glass? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, yeah, there is not a huge turbine. Probably for air filtration. Okay, I'm inside, but how do I let the coin in? Uh, you don't. It looks like an exercise room. Yeah, seems like that pharaoh wanted to exercise, huh? His last few years. Voice log, dead across from minimal, rip Grigori. Here I am again. Hiding in the gym. Writing to stay sane in this crazy place. Yeah. I can't believe Grigori's dead. Our so-called spiritual leader was fine yesterday. Did he kill himself? And suddenly passed away in his sleep. And no one will talk to me They about murdered it. each other? They like a child. Whispering behind my back. As if I can't cope with death. Even after the end of the world. Like the one of one of the last humans alive. 
recruiting a teenage girl. So, even though they were the last humans on Earth, they still murdered each other. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, serves so you right, that Pharaoh. I hope you died. On the other hand, I would love to kill you by myself, huh? So, I don't know. Kind of would love both. Imagine there would be a Ted Faro clone around. I would immediately kill him. Damn. So this is where Ted Faro lived out his final years. What oh, nice. I want to know what happened to him. The living area. It's pretty big too. No, it has some space. <laughs> New normal voice located across from minimal. There's nothing normal about a scientist, his daughter, a guru, and well, let's face it, a harem living through the end times in the trillionaire's underground survival bunker. A harem? <laughs> now that Kagori's gone... What? I'm worried things will get even weirder. He helped keep Ted stable for a couple of years. Sort of. Not really. Without him, who knows? And we don't even understand what happened to him. He was murdered. Right. Nothing normal about Ted. True. Wait, so... Wait, am I understanding that correctly? Ted just brought a bunch of... He just wanted to save a bunch of women. A bunch of women. And just to... You know. Really? Really? You what the f <laughs> Jesus Christ, you just... You just save them from the hell that's outside and give them a new hell? Oh my god. Ted Farrow, man, are you serious? Gregorius Fastbacks uh, Journal, text log, the corruption to me. Did I tell Ted that he needed to hear only what he wanted to hear? Did I want to lead? Did I want to lead him to salvation? Or was I simply seeking my own? I, in I invited him to consider his being in a universe of in the universe bereft of the trappings of techno nihilism, but did he instead annihilate his own path along with the rest of the world? Oh God, what have I done? Yeah, he killed the world thrice. Like, he he was responsible for that the whole world died. So, you know, it's really his fault. I know everyone's reeling after Grigori's uh, untimely demise. Wait, did that Farrell come on? He was a deeply spiritual man who wasn't afraid to rip back the curtain and gaze where few men dare. I've asked Dr. Sumtau to... Why do I need know, to hear your voice again, man? I hate you. I'm sure he had some kind of... condition or something. <laughs> the main point More you. while we certainly miss him, we will go on. Everything's gonna be okay. What do you mean, go so on? You just live until you die in this bunker. That was the whole thing. Just so that you can survive a bit longer than all the other 10 billion humans. At that point. You stupid idiot. God damn it, I hate you. Please. I just... I want to kill him. It's pretty fancy for a survival bunker. Yay! He made, like, an Egyptian-style bunker? There. The door. I mean... Hope I, can open it from the inside. I mean, okay, he is a trillionaire. He was a trillionaire, but... Still. Dude, fuck him. Look at this entrance! Like, like, imagine you walk into this bunker, then you're like, well, hello there, welcome back to Egypt. What the fuck? Dude, and, and with this space, he could have had, like, I don't know, 10 more people in here, but no. You like kind of just wanted control. people to, you know, to screw. Dude, what? Whatever. Ah, that's funny. Rihanna, voice locked to the corruption minimal. Most of Ted's women repulse me, okay? 
They're like contestants on a housewife sim preening for the hubby's attention. But Brianna, what? the hollow singer, what about the she's Randall? different. She's always been nice to me. And I love her voice, which has been conspicuously silent since Grimoire Imagine. Died. This guy destroyed she the world. And what did he think? Well, yeah, let's just bring a bunch of she women into my bunker so that and I can stay happy. The audacity. Dude. Come on. Come on. Hey, wasn't one enough? Or two? No. <laughs> Dude, what are you? A Mongolian Khan? J Jesus. An emergency exit function. Emergency exit but like, why do we have to let them in? No, come on, man. Ugh. The door is open. Destiny is upon us. I knew you could do it. What's going on? The CO is preparing to enter Thebes. Dressed like Ted Pharaoh. I am Pharaoh, renewed. My essence is the same as his. Across the years, across the generations, his soul is my soul. His will is my will. We are sundered in only one way. I need his final testament, his deepest secrets. And now that the door is open, those secrets are within my grasp. When I have them, I will be complete as he was. I will have everything I need to save our homeland. And as Pharaoh did, the world. Okay. I think there's some confusion here about who Pharaoh really was. No one knows better than I who he was, who he is, me. The renewer, greatest of the ancestors, the man who saved the world, and you. You understand, Sobek. You are her, Pharaoh's harbinger, his assistant. Come, we will descend into Thebes together, as it should be. Bring her the raiment. Raymond? As he is Pharaoh, you are Sobek. For an occasion, this momentous, shouldn't you wear a proper business attire? Whoa. No, 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 no. No, I am not wearing that. No way. You will wear the proper attire to mark this moment. Or what? It is said Sobek valued life above all else. Is this true? Fine. I'll wear your raiment. Look at this place, the grandeur. <laughs> Pharaoh's domain. She looks so weird. Such she looks so weird. Oh my god. Somewhere oh my here, god. She's like in the wrong movie. It what happened to her? Perhaps we should leave no way. No riches. way. Dude, that looks so Indeed. tough. And let it be done. Like even though she is Elizabeth Sobek, but come on, dude. That looks so weird. No way. It looks so dumb. Oh my god. And by the way, this guy, the CEO. You see, wait. Did Ted Farrow, did he have a clone in Asia? Like generations ago? And he's like, and he's like the direct descendant of Ted Farrow? 
Like he isn't Ted Farrell because he, he he doesn't have his voice. But like is he Is he a direct descendant from Ted Farrell? Did Ted Farrell make a clone out of himself at one point? Like he could be, but still. But I mean come on, Eli. <laughs> <laughs> what are you wearing, girl? Oh man, that's that's just way too funny, man. Oh Jesus. Looks like the emergency exit. But he's also really an ass. He's really an ass, Jesus. God, I hate him. Yeah, right. He just made a statue of himself next to Egyptian obelisks. And even more Egyptian statues. Dude, what is wrong with that guy? What the hell was wrong with that guy? Dude. They have an emperor? Great risks bring great bounties over no, no, stop running after me. I have the feeling that I have to fight them at one point. Dude, what the? I think this way might lead down. Dude, what the hell? Just made a huge statue out of himself. In his own bunker. What the fuck? What is wrong with you? Remember every detail of his bohai for posterity. Dude, fuck he off. Just shut up. Jesus, you're annoying. Stop running after me, Ted Farrow. Or weird copy of Ted Farrow. I don't know. I don't care. No less than he deserved. What do you mean? He didn't save the world, he killed the world. Not once, not twice, but thrice. Stupid idiot. Stop running after me! Dude! What Grigori did was like the corruption minimal. Brianna told me that Grigori hacked into restricted files. Uh oh. They found out something awful. What? And Ted murdered important people who worked on zero dollars yeah he killed the alpha Ted prime people punish Grigori? kill him for discovering because he, he knew did. he killed him how could that be you Dad stupid ass there wasn't a mark on Grigori's body his heart just gave out find anything interesting i am um, i can't make sense of it yet Nah, she can. She just doesn't want to tell. Jesus. So Grigori found out that he killed the Alpha Primes. Um, the the um, the founders of the diff uh, the creators of the different AIs. Um, that 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 Pharaoh killed them. Wow, wow. And because he knew that Pharaoh killed him too. Fuck him. So hey, this is weird. Yeah, I tried to warn you. Yeah, sort of. I'll explain everything if we survive long enough. Those certainly look threatening. Ah, statues. The guardians of Pharaoh's domain. Those aren't statues. Look out! Get the CO out of here. This is just us then. Happy to see me? Great, corrupt us. Oh, fuck me. That must have hurt. Oh, God, I hate him. Yeah, right. Did you know that I'm the one who does all the job here? What a stupid idiot. Oh, God. That's why the medicine was all over the place, huh? Thanks. Where's Overseer Bohai? We can't afford to lose any more divine What? No 
No more delay. We must proceed. Fuck off, will you? Boom. At least I could craft my overpowered weapon again. Why did you have living corruptors in here? Why? Why? Did you think someone would come into the bunker while he's still alive? On the other hand, when the machines would have found him, the Pharaoh Plague, and they would have blasted open the door somehow, then I'm sorry, but this wouldn't have helped. Two corruptors against billions of machines? I'm sorry, you're fucking delusional. Yes. Talking to you, stupid idiot. Like, come on, man. People who built a great statue of themselves, where they live, delusional. Dude. Power over, voice log, the question minimal. Brianna didn't wake up this morning. She's gone. Yo, Brianna died too? And looking up at the giant, hideous statue of Ted in the Great Hall. At his eyes. Did that Pharaoh kill everyone in the end? Watching. He's watching us all. Jesus. He's always had power over us. I just never knew how much. Did you discover some data? That's just I'm fucked up. A, a testament to Ted's power. Don't care, not interested in what you have to say. Dude, even more Egyptian stuff. Dude, what the hell? And why? Jesus Christ. Controlled environment, voice locked, the corruption, minimal. When I built this place, when its special systems were designed, Dude, I hate your voice. I knew what I wanted. Protection, of course. An unlimited power source, that was a given. But also... Control. Over every possible eventuality. After all, you never know what'll happen, especially when the human element is involved. Yeah. What did you find? Trust me. You don't want to know. I guess I don't. Dude, the human element. Yeah. Why did you bring humans in here when you're when you're when, blah, 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 when you're killing them anyways? Jesus, man. You just should have died with all the other humans that you condemned. Ever deeper we go. Shut up. You're not as good as the guy in Las Vegas, the Osram guy. He was way better at this. At talking. Lining throne attached to some kind of apparatus. I wonder what it does. An impressive setup. What is it for? Don't I'm tell sorry. me that he survived. Still, and if he survived, I, I want remember. to kill him. My focus can't read the data here. What about the living ancestor? Is the data lost to her? What was this place? Scan the device, if you will. Oh no. First this. Pass back. Tax lock. That cross from minimal. I never thought that would actually do it. I assumed the whole thing was just to scare me. To keep me under control. To show what what he might do to Kanya if I stepped out of the line and screwed up his treatments. It certainly kept me motivated. What does he say about me? About us? There's so few of us left and we're still keeping secrets from each other. Such terrible secrets. Some do. Or some do. Dude. What the hell was wrong with you, Ted Farrow, man? Dude, what happened? What happened to you, man, that you're such an asshole? Seriously, man. Fuck you. You're even worse than the Zenith, actually. Ted's getting impatient. Takes like get a corruption minimal. 
How can I explain to him that you can't really prove an organism has achieved immortality in a day, a week, or even a year? The question literally embodies the idiom, only time will tell. I have no idea how long his body will survive. All I know is that it will last a lot longer than mine. No, you don't tell me that he wanted to live forever and they actually did it with some gene treatment, whatever. As far as the therapy goes, we've graduated from two steps forward, one step back to two steps forward, one step sideways. With each treatment, his cells will generate more effectively. At this point, I don't think they're aging at all, but, mut but mutations keep popping up. And each one has to be treated individually. So far, my strategy of pharmaceutical whack a mole seems to be working. But for how long? And what? And with what side effects? He really, he really made himself. He really made himself. Dude. Seriously? They made him immortal. They made, they made Ted Farrow immortal. Are you serious? They made him immortal. With stupid gene therapy? Dude, I want to kill him. The irony is, I've probably achieved more for the field in these last two years than the entire industry did in the last 20. But I was around to appreciate it. Ted sure doesn't. These days, he doesn't seem to appreciate anything. Some of Dude, no way, no way. Is he really still alive in there? If he's still alive, I want to kill him. Kill this stupid idiot. Dude, I can't even begin. He killed the whole world. He killed the whole team of Elizabeth Sobek. He deleted Apollo, the whole database for humans, which you should have learned, you know, when they when they were born out of the machines again 300 years later, when the third plague was gone. He killed the world. And then he went into his bunker with a harem just so, so that he can fuck all the time. But no, then he started to kill people and then he wanted to live forever and probably achieve that too. Do no. Dude, if I find his little head, dude. I will put a spear through his eyes. Please Seriously. Scan the device. Well, fuck off for a second. Dude. The audacity of that man. Jesus Christ. Last judgment. What was recording? Data corruption minimal. You did this for him? You put, like, off switches in everyone's heads? Wait, Shut really? Up. You mustn't judge me. I had no choice. Then what's he meant with control? No, what would he do to us? What would he do to you? You're my little girl. I was trying to keep you alive. For what, Dad? Seriously, why? So we can be trapped in this underground nightmare? You know what we have to do. Tell me Please. what your focus reveals you find about a recording, the device. Aloy? Yeah. I'll share it with you later. Damn, so so he built like kill switches? So he put in he ordered that that, that everyone in the bunker had like kill switches in the brain? So that like whenever whenever someone is acting out of So every time someone's acting out, he's just like just like Thanos snaps and then it's just bye bye? Are you serious? The device, if you will. Fuck off! Dude! Dude! Bar that pharaoh! Jesus Christ! This was probably the thing where... Medical chair, patient seating, connect to medical apparatus. Made a minor adjustment to the gene therapy regimen and added a new cocktail to treat the symptoms caused by the mutations. Hopefully, there will be some stabilization after the next treatment. God knows what Ted will do to us if there isn't. Uh, the early results were so promising. 
No signs of aging, no cellular degeneration, but now... Oh, if only I had access to my old lab in Bangkok, or my old colleagues, or my old liquor cabinet. Stop it. Got to stay positive. For Kenya. What the actual you saw fuck? Something. I could tell. Did the data explain what Pharaoh used this device for? I think he was undergoing treatments to live longer. A lot longer. Really? Could he still be alive? Don't be foolish. If he were alive, he would have kept his essence. It would not have been passed down to me. Remember, he was the renewer. Of course he would have stopped at nothing to grasp the secrets of life and death. But not for himself. Everything he did was for a new beginning. For us, for the Quen. And for his true heir, me. You know, I'm starting to think you're right. You do have a lot in common with Ted Farrow. I knew you would see, in time. Let us continue. His secrets await. I guess in the end, Ted Farrow killed everyone. Went inside, and then he went into like a cryogenic stuff, a uh, cryogenic chamber or something. And he's somewhere here. Dude, let me kill him. Hmm. Let me kill that, that stupid idiot. Office. For a minor functionary, perhaps? My god. And there's more Egyptian stuff. Why not? Why not? In the middle of San Francisco. Like, under San Francisco, but whatever. I can't believe it, man. Jesus Christ. Look at all this equipment. We are getting closer to the heart of this place. Heat rising, most located corruption minimal. An automated geothermal energy plant right under the city of San Francisco. A marvel. Even I can run it. And let's face it, I was always more of a visionary than an engineer. Fuck off that fire. I the foresight to insist on the inclusion of a very unique feature. And that is. Just in case anyone ever tries to steal my cheese, so to speak. And that is. Yeah, come on, tell me now, you idiot. Reactor report, text look, data corruption minimal. <laughs> Weak, 50,844. Oh, let me, um. Let me just, uh. Quickly, um. See how many years they, uh, that is. 44 divided by 52 977.76 years power 61% efficiency 54% so action integrity 41% base temperature 1876 Fahrenheit core temperature 541 Fahrenheit condition nominal safeguard operational warning structure integrity low core vulnerable any disturbance may trigger safeguard protocol damn Dude, I dare you. If he survived, or if he actually went out of the bunker, man. Dude. Fuck him. Dude, you're literally doing nothing. You're supposed to be to be the essence of that pharaoh. But you're not contributing anything. Stupid ass head. Jesus, man. Break it open! Bunker door, blast the heavily shielded. Seal integrity maintained. Is there, um. Okay. Well, how can we. Where can we find a way past it? Because I don't see it. Up there is something. 
Oh, vent panel. Okay. Open that door. Ah, is that a vent of some sort? Not a bad idea. Fuck off. Didn't ask for your opinion. God damn it. Good, now we're here. Let's discover everything first. I don't care. Recover that Pharaoh's Omega clearance. Yes. Very good. Still wonder what happened to him. Did that Pharaoh take the Omega clearance with him? Could actually be the case. Would be interesting if he did. Classic that Pharaoh move. God, I just hate him. Okay, there's literally nothing else. Our console. Maybe I can access Ted's files from here. Hope so. There's literally nothing more to scan. Thought it would be a data point or something. Interact. He's the one feeling sorry for himself. Less his future. Less his children. Someday they'll come. And I'll be here to greet them. Sometimes that my aging has stopped altogether. If anything, my cells are replenishing faster than normal. I just need some time for the mutations to calm down. Time. And energy. Sometimes if they're reacting, give me what I need to grow strong again, to get my shit back together, so I can greet the kids. They're gonna need me. My advice, my guidance, and then I won't be alone anymore. Pharaoh's secrets. Are they here? Uh, not the ones you're looking for. Then they must be in there. Trust me. You don't want to go in there. Are you mad? I haven't come all this way to stop now. Legacy is mine. Burn it to ash. Wait, no. Pharaoh has it rigged to melt down and kill them too. 
No witnesses. Yo, what the fuck? Dude, so that so so everyone died. Everyone died, as I as I suspected. But then Oh Jesus. But then But then he actually I don't know, fused together with the core? He fused together with the core? Oh, it was like this weird mutant thing. What the fuck? I want to see him. I want to see how he looks. What the hell? Well, there's lava now. That's just great. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Burn. Yeah. No. Dude, leave the cannon alone. Yeah, but I wanted to see how he looks. Dude, come on. Did it just die off screen? That pharaoh was still alive. I wanted to hear him talk. I wanted to see how he looked. Keep moving, okay? Dude, no way. No way. No fucking way. I wanted to see how he looked. You still want to fight even though there's lava literally pouring down everywhere? It, what the fuck? What are your priorities, man? Did what? It's getting getting a bit hot in here. What the fuck, man? So he really was still alive. He was like 900 years alone. Dude, I would have loved to see him how he looked. Come on, man. Egypt falls. Dude, come on. I wanted to see that pharaoh. Ugh. I couldn't get my revenge. Hurry, sire. Come on. Out of my way. Deserved, I guess. Come up and anyone? Uh, where to now? Um, to there, I guess. Jesus, out! My God. What is wrong with you? The whole place is going down. But that dead pharaoh was still alive after all these years. But I guess he couldn't. He couldn't get away from the reactor anymore because he was like used with it. Very weird. Can I please know more about this? I want to know how he looked like. Or if he said something, I don't know. What do you mean? Look, 
Okay, no clue where she is. Jesus Christ. Found something that will help. Not just your homeland, but everywhere. But where's the CO? Oh, he's gone. I guess you could say he gave his life to help us attain the secrets of Thebes. I see. You must think I'm eminently stupid. What? No. No. The CEO was an entitled egotist who twisted our beliefs into a sickening, self-serving fantasy. And you expect me to believe he sacrificed himself for scraps of data? It's time for the truth, and it better be convincing. Otherwise, I'll simply order these soldiers to open fire. Hold on. You're right. To be honest, the CO screwed everything up. He brought Thebes down around our ears and died like a gutless coward. But we really did find something down there that will help your homeland. If I can take it and use it. Now, if I have to, I will fight my way out of here, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can just let me go, and then take credit when things start to improve. Success certainly does sound better than failure. It seems then that our destinies are intertwined. Landfall is open to you. If it will help your cause, you may come and go as you please, but Alva must join you and report back on your efforts. Fair enough. Thebes is of no further value to us. Obviously, we're going back to the flotilla. Alva, I expect your reports to be thorough. Oh, I thought he was going to have us killed. Oh, and instead, I get to join you. Glad to have you. But you're going to need a little help to reach our base. Varl, I made a new friend. I need you to meet her at the Quen Ferry and escort her back. On it. Can't wait to meet her. Trust me, you'll love it there. Varl will give you a better focus and all the data you could ever want. Head to the ferry. I'll join you back east as soon as I can. A diviner must follow the truth, wherever it leads. I'll see you there. Now that I have the cards, we should have what we need to capture Hephaestus. But before I head to the ferry, maybe I should stop by landfall. Okay. Gone, um. Quinn will be willing to talk. I, I um too. I gotta change out of these clothes. I can't believe the CEO made me play dress up. <laughs> the thing is, um the um you know that um you know there was a picture before um in the core. Um you know where it was like this um this mutant thingy, you know, with all these things. I can't really explain. Um Wait. Where is it? <sighs> That's the thing I mean. This one. The country is here, but you know, like like the picture. Um you know where it's all like from these um 
this status that is like this mutant there at the core. That's the only thing it seems like you'll ever see of him. And nothing more. You, We will never know how he really looked like. Wow. I actually wanted to see him. And then he said like, I don't know, Elizabeth or something like that. And then I could kill him. You know, right. That would have been a bit better. But... I don't know, like, 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 now I didn't get my revenge. Dude. Come on, that sucks. That really sucks. I really wanted to, you know, kill him. Uh, whatever. Call him out. Okay, is there a... Oh, there is actually a campfire right there. It's actually good because then I can travel to landfall. Um, to see if there is something new, and if there isn't, I'll just uh, go back to the base, talk with Alva and Gaia, and then that's it. It does suck a bit, I have to say, because I really wanted to kill that pharaoh. I really wanted that he sees me, you know. And that I can see him, that he's a mutated monster, an ugly one, and then he would recognize me and then I would kill him. Whatever. But he's dead. Yes. So, listen to it. Hello? Listen to the rumor. I spotted a tall neck southwest of here, lying still as death among the waves. They said glint hawks were stalking its remains, so be wary if you're out that way. Thanks. Tall neck beached to the southwest. I wonder if it's dead. I should have a look when I get the chance. Okay, even more interesting, I just found a, a internet thingy. Um, towards the end of the main Forbidden West storyline. So we're actually towards the end already. Players will start a quest called Pharaoh's Tomb. Uh, yeah, yeah. First, it's a very weird obsession with Egypt that, that's put front and center. The second standout feature of Thebes is the massive statue of that pharaoh that looms over the Great Hall. Nothing more clearly displays Ted's narcissistic personality, which again, so must stay intact even after he single-handedly caused the apocalypse. Yeah. That pharaoh wasn't alone in Thebes, he brought a guru named Grigori Fesbach, a scientist named Dr. Somto, and Somto's teenage daughter Kanya. Ted also brought his many girlfriends, which Kanya describes as a harem. Um... The data points revealed that Pharaoh uh, was slowly but surely losing his mind and took drastic measures to ensure his authority was never challenged. Everyone who joined Ted and Thebes had a kill switch, yeah, what I talked about. So you could put in the heads so that if they began to challenge Ted, if he simply, he simply grew wary of their company, they could be easily disposed of. Ted used the kill switches on both his guru and his harem girls. Really he used it on all of his harem girls? Dude, until he was left with only Samto and Kanya. Dr. Santo was the most important person in Thebes, other than Ted himself, he was brought to Ferris Bunker for a very specific purpose and like the secret of immortality. They wanted to outlive Patrick Stewart on and rejoin the world once it was rebuilt, creating the new humans that would arise to populate it as a god. He refused to accept his own mortality and obsession that may have also been inspired by ancient Egyptian pharaohs. Um... Yeah, some toast, some toast treatments were based upon cellular regeneration, so that Ted will never age. His aging cells would simply be replaced when he died. Um, it worked, but there were some flaws. Clearly, he wasn't using the same technology as the Phalaceniths. 
The treatment successfully kept Ted from aging and achieved skull immortality, but they caused occasional mutations. It's not clear what these mutations looked like, but it didn't matter because Dr. Thumbtoe was able to keep them under control. Kanye was miserable and it's easy on a sad wife. She was trapped in an underground bunk with a father, a creepy and mentally unstable man, his girlfriends, and a random guru. And she learned about the code switch and understandably lost her, her, her cool. By the time Kanye learned the truth, Ted had already disposed of Fastback and the woman. And the women, only Kanye and the father were left. Kanye waited nothing more than the thought living and dying in service of someone like that. Farrow convinced her father to commit suicide with her. When Ted found their bodies and realized he was alone, he got over it pretty quick. But sometimes death came with catastrophic consequences. Elo discovers the truth about Ted's fate and the scene is haunting. After hearing inhuman growls from within the generator room within Thebes, Eloy digs through the files and discovers that, there, that Ted's immortality treatments did work. He actually survived for a thousand years, but without some toll, the mutations caused by the cellular regeneration therapy spiraled out of control. As his cells continued to multiply unchecked, Pharaoh became dis dissident dissi dissidently less than human. Players are divided on how the scene plays out, it's clear that Pharaoh became a monster, but his final form was never revealed. Yeah. Elo sees the reaction of the Quen CEO, the soldier sent to burn Pharaoh's twisted form, but there's no big moment where everyone sees what Pharaoh became. There's no boss fight either. Yeah. True. Well, so am I. <sighs> Decidedly, yeah, exactly. I kind of butchered it. Um, some players were disappointed that the number ultim ultimately left them hanging. Yeah, there's a big build up to this horrible monster that Pharaoh became, but then the players left without a clear answer. Yeah, that's true. Like, I would have loved to see him. You know how he was, this weird monster. And then in the end, he would be like, wait, Elizabeth? You're still alive? And then, like, BOOM! Kill him. But no, he just got burned off screen, goddammit. Um, this. This. This city. This fuck off. Ancestor, mm, my God, please. Man. It's about my brother. I don't mean to disturb you, but I've run my requests through every channel and I've gotten nowhere. Just take me through it. Apologies. My name is Jomar. I'm the weapons officer for this expedition. It's my job to ensure the troops are armed and prepared for what's out there. And I've failed to do so. My younger brother, Oris, his unit was sent to scout the tower on the northern side of the island. They should have returned by now. The Overseer has denied my request for a search party, and defying him would mean dismissal, or worse. You think they might be alive? Oris has been obsessed with San Francisco ever since I can remember. He jumped at the chance to join this expedition. I have to believe that fate isn't cruel enough to make this place his tomb. If you help me, I'll get you access to any weapon in my stock. If I make my way up north, I'll look for your brother. Thank you. If it helps, my brother carried an ancestral relic with him. I believe your focus might be able to pick it up. What kind of relic? A small metal piece dangling from a chain with a hologram of San Francisco, which is why my brother always had it with him. The diviners speculated it was some kind of beacon inviting the ancestors to visit the city. Speculated? So there was data on it they couldn't read? It was deemed lost knowledge. If my brother truly is gone could you maybe bring the relic back for me it meant so much to oris i i'd like to keep it safe for him of course <sighs> all right main quest gemini return to base yes what i want to do uh quick save first now fast travel oh there is Oh no, there is not a side mission. Why? Oh god. Yeah, yeah, there is not a side mission. Oh, we have to talk more. So many side missions, Jesus. No Talk to Harry M and Christia. I promise you, we'll find a way home. Harry M, we're never getting that gyro compass back. We're stuck here, for good. The ancestor reborn. May we be led to truth. Just, Aloy, what's this I hear about you never going back home? Our navigational ships. They're all gone. Destroyed by storms and reefs, and with them the one instrument we need to guide us across the ocean. There is one ship 
that might still hold a working gyro compass. But it's beyond our reach, beached on an island surrounded by deadly currents. No compass, no way home, no way back to those we should have never left behind in the first place. Christia. You mentioned you left someone behind? My uh, wife, Neandra. She works the field in the Great Delta. When I was chosen for this mission, she begged me not to come. She was scared I wouldn't return. And like always, she was right. I left without saying goodbye, and now I won't ever see her again. So you two are soldiers? Navigators, actually. I'm Harriam, and this is Christia. So you two know how to use this instrument? The gyro compass. Only I know how to read it. The diviners trained me. Harriam was chosen to memorize the charts found in the legacy. So you can't navigate the fleet without each other? It is the Quen way. The greater the knowledge held by one person alone, the greater the risk it'll be used against the Empire should we be captured by our enemies. Your tribe sure is... cautious. So what is this gyro compass you're looking for? It's a device used by the ancestors to help pinpoint a ship's location. But it only works if the readings are compared to a chart. How'd you get your hands on something like that? I guess it's safe to tell you since you carry the gift of the ancestors. The diviners found them on ancient vessels back in our homeland and modified them so we could use them on our ships. Without them, we're at the mercy of the seas. You said what you need is on a ship somewhere. Yes. The ship we were stationed on. The night we approached landfall, a sudden squall hit the fleet. While some ships managed to find safe harbor here, ours ran aground. The crew abandoned ship, hoping the ocean would spare us. I thought we'd drown for sure. Thank the ancestors, we somehow got washed up on a beach southwest of here. Scouts found us and brought us to landfall. Not that it matters. The only ship with the gyro compass is grounded and surrounded by deadly currents. Maybe I can help. Not unless you can fly. I can't do that. But if I find a way, I'll come back. She's an ancestor reborn. Maybe she really can help. I will not let myself hope just yet, but I thank you for your kindness. Well, I can't fly yet, but I guess I'll be able to fly soon because, as I know, the main story is soon coming to an end. So that means we'll also soon um, confront the Farazinids. Okay, but now I can really uh, quick travel there. Um, yeah, by the way, it's uh, it's not problem when you uh, just off the stream when you want to go. I mean, guess we just have to. Um, watch some stuff at another time. <laughs> also, I dig this casual outfit for Eli. Dude, this outfit, it was only made by this other guy because he was like, Hey, you're the clone of Elizabeth Sobek, you're an ancestor, so, so, so you gotta wear the clothes that she wore. Dude, it just looks so weird, like she's in a different, like, it just looks like she's in the wrong movie. <laughs> oh, man. Again, the loading screen. No music there. <laughs> okay, but I will only um go back to the base, talk with Guy or Beta or whatever, and then we'll end stream. Because um need some time between streams. Also, they got something to eat. I'm really hungry. <laughs> Can you... To the boys. So Alva should be here too now, right? Then we have Aaron, Varl, Zoe. 
How's the death metal going, buddy? Alright. So we do have the Omega clearance now from Ted Faro. Welcome back. Hey, hello. Talk to Gaia. Aloy, I know your experience in Thebes was unsettling, but we have a new problem. Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your sub-functions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. But the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with Omega clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Okay. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zeniths. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy. You better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Okay. Oh no. Oh wait, we can actually talk more to Gaia. Whatever. I believe Varl is still waiting for you outside Beta's room. I know. I just wanted to talk about something else first. As you wish. All this data I've picked up in ancient bunkers and ruins. I guess I never really thought that other people would be looking at it. Based on my observations, your companions engage quite frequently with this material. Errant has asked on numerous occasions. He has he also uh, that is what I predict. Is Catalo getting along with everyone? Yes. Though he prefers to spend most of the time he and to I believe it appears he has How's all of us settling in? As soon as she arrived, Alva was eager to study the data in the archive. A particular file soon caught her attention. Information about a machine assistant devoted to keeping living spaces neat and orderly. I informed her that once I am empowered with the abilities of Hephaestus, I may be able to design such a machine. I'm sure she'll like that. So now that you have Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon, how's the biosphere looking? In the local region, conditions have improved. Superstorms have subsided. Water sources have been purified and soil conditions remediated. These improvements will stave off environmental collapse for a few additional months. Well, with luck, soon you'll have Hephaestus, and you'll be able to fix the biosphere for good, right? Correct. I will be able to reverse the environmental damage There's something I've been wondering. How could Ted Farrow create a clearance level higher than Alpha? Elizabeth made sure he wouldn't interfere with the project. It is plausible he tasked his own engineers with creating a back door to this mine until it. So, but you. Weapons that so. 
Lucky for us. No. When I dove down into Vegas, I found data about the man who built the dome. But if he this face even water I just So I uh found thieves. What do you think Ted would have done if his life extension treatments had worked? It seems he convinced himself it was his duty to guide future humans. Given the tribal nature of new humans, and his ability to use Omega Clearance on the terraforming system, I imagine he would have convinced one or more tribes to worship him as their patriarchal deity. Okay. Yep, glad that didn't happen. Aside from Gaia Prime and Thebes, there was one other underground facility that was sealed before the Pharaoh Plague reached it. Elysium. The place where Zero Dawn staff and their families went to live out their lives. Do you know what happened to it? Elysium was designed to provide life support for 100 years. My data indicates the facility went offline well before then. Did the Pharaoh Plague find them? Unknown. My connection to the facility was abruptly severed. I'll be on my way. I wish you safe travels. Okay, that was really weird. It said like, hey, there is like new stuff, you know, that you can talk about. But in the end, it was just the old stuff all over again. That's why I skipped it. It was really weird, what? Like, usually you always jump to the... Usually you always jump to the newest stuff when you... When you talk with someone. And then when you have talked all about the new stuff, you could press it again and then everything... You could talk through everything again from the, from the beginning. But this one was just the old stuff and then in the end came the new stuff. That was really weird. What? Um, back again, by the way, this also works really well for me today, so I'll play that for DPS, more immersive heals. Alright. Good to know. And by the way, also, we hey, don't necessarily have to play three hours Overwatch. I mean, it's up to you how long you want to be around. I tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back? Alone. In a cell again. A slave. Forever. We have a solid plan. You helped come up with it. Without you there, the probability that the Zeniths discover us is high. But with you, that risk is much less. We'll get Hephaestus, get out, and come back here. It'll be okay. No! You can't guarantee that! I told you from the beginning we'll never beat them! It's hopeless! You don't understand! You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I looked through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned, and isolated just like me, so what's the difference? What's my defect?
You don't have a defect. Beta, look, it's not a piece of Elizabeth. The difference is, I had him. Frost, he raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did it feel like? It was like... Having a strength that was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. But it looks impossible. Look deeper. And then fight like you can win. You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way. I'll go. Like he said, odds are in our favor if I do. We have to succeed. But you have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? Okay. Promise? I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merge, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. Whenever you are ready, come well, to well. We could actually convince Beta to come and help us. I really hope that she doesn't die. That would suck if she dies. Come on, man. I don't want to kill her. Come on. Okay, there is actually some stuff in there. Thank you. But anyways, um, I guess that was it for today for Horizon Forbidden West because I really need to get something to eat. I'm hungry as hell. Yeah, I know I did read. Well, see, depending on how games go or well level of that. I know. I know. Um... But yeah, like I said, um, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, oh my god. So we now know what happened to that pharaoh. He killed everyone in his bunker. Or they killed, himse or they killed themselves. Then he went uh, insane. And he also got immortal. And mutated into a huge monster that we didn't see. And he died. Wow. <laughs> I still would have loved if I got my revenge. God damn it. But yeah. Anyways, you know, real social media is linked down below. So it's my Discord for now, and updates. Not a place you can try and talk with me. And social media channel where I've done a bunch of different stuff now. Um, so open eyes, you can check it out. And yeah, have a nice evening. Catch you guys for dinner. I'll be back later for Overwatch with my best buddy Boscor. And yeah, so in about an hour, um, I have to be quick. <laughs> Anyways, um, so have a nice time. See ya. Till later. And thanks for watching. Ta-ta.